It's your friendly neighborhood laser lady. There are so many difficult aspects of having laser, not just how do you use the freaking thing, but what kind of materials are good for it, and even worse, how to make your own customizable laser cut designs. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for you anymore with this website I have discovered. And that website is cuddle.xyz. Now they are not paying me to tell you about them at all. I love this website that much that I'm making an entire video on it. And you're gonna understand why right now. Let's dive in. So here it is, even on their example on the main page, you can see how powerful this website is. Just by typing in a name or anything, it populates into their templates, but that's not all. We'll get to that in a minute. So Christmas is coming up. Let's go ahead and design a couple of ornaments, a lickety split. This one is super popular and I wanna show you just how awesome it is. So we've all got families or even coworkers or pet names, anything you can possibly think of we're going to make an ornament of it. I'm going to do my cat's names, of course, because if you know me at all, you know I love cats. <laughs> so scrolling down here, these are pre-populated. I'm going to just clear them out and type in the names. So I've got Roxy, Dio, and as you can see there, it put Dio on top because it knows it's a smaller name. So it's going to stack these in order of like a Christmas tree shape. Freaking genius. This is why I love this website. Dio sticks. And again, that is working out really good. And I'm going to include a stray I've been feeding outside my house and we call her Tuxedo Joe. <laughs> I'm not in love with the shape necessarily, so let's just go Joe. Dio Joe sticks in Roxy. That's beautiful. We can change the icon on top to be a cat paw. Love this. So that's for the names, the year we could change easily enough. We can toggle a whole bunch of things. Everything you want to customize is in here. And what's so great about this is you can collect names, say on Facebook. I believe there's even an example down here. So what this person did was they collected a bunch of names off of people they found on Facebook. And what's so amazing about that is then you, your turnaround time is so fast. You don't need to be combining shapes and breaking them apart and nudging them together. Everything is absolutely ready to go for massive sales. Thank you, Dio. Thank you, Dio. Here's another fun way some people packaged theirs and they were selling these for $14 each with a $12 special at the beginning of the week. And I, I love that so much. If you're looking to do more sales this holiday season, this is a wonderful idea. It is so fast. People can just message you say on Facebook or through Craigslist or maybe even Etsy if you have a presence there and they send you the names and you get them written out, saved as a file in literally seconds, and you're able to cut them all out at once, create them all at once, and then get them out your door. And that's just money in the bank, baby. Something like that would pay off even just one month subscription and one ornament, you know, it's amazing. So let's see what kind of gifts I could possibly make for some of those people that have it all. You can't buy this stuff in a store. That's why customized goods sell so well. I'm always saying that, especially on Etsy and things like this, you can buy the same pair of socks and the same, you know, funny t-shirt and blah, blah, blah at any old store. But when something is customized with even a name on it or a name with a sport, so many different possibilities to personalize your item for a customer. It really just creates a connection that you can't find at Walmart. As far as gifts go, this ornament is actually calling to me. I know someone who would absolutely love this because of the swirly design. I've got someone in mind that's a whole aesthetic thing. Sometimes when we're trying to sell things, we need a vibe, if you will. Sorry, the elder millennial, I say crazy things like vibe, <laughs> but it's, it's true. It, it's a certain aesthetic that people are looking for and this I, I love. So let's just design this in real time because it's truly that easy. 
All right, Autumn is the name, and we're gonna change the snowflakes in the back to that swirly bit, because I love the swirlies. And I like the font. We could change the font. Here, they have like a jillion fonts. I could go all day with, all, with the fonts, but let's skip that name width. Three inches, three, almost four inches. I, I like it. Let's go more like three inches, 50, 3.5, great. And name height, so we could increase, decrease. I'm gonna increase a little bit just to fill that in. Perfect, a little bit, a little bit more. Or name height, oh, I like that. Name width, perfect, okay. And the big letter, in case you wanted to change it to D, to F, but A for autumn, very good, very good. And font size, letter position, whole. I think the hole looks good there. We can get rid of the hole if we were going to turn this into maybe a really big uh, decoration for a fireplace or a sign. There's so many different things we can do. We just have to adjust the size. Done, advanced, auto capitalized bar thickness. It's looking good. Overlap is looking good. We could get it so the M is in there. And you see that, how it just melts into it? This is such a smart program, I can't even, I can't even. But this looks good, let's download it. So how long was that? Like 30 seconds, less than a minute. If I didn't talk so much, it would have been even less time. Perfect. So we'll download that and then we can get that cut out. And here is the final product. I used some of the Craft Closet pre-finished wood. So it's done even flipping faster and you're ready to go. If you were selling these online or like on Facebook we were talking about, I could make literally 50 of these in, in less than a half an hour. It's just the cut time, but then I can stage them all together to cut out the same time and then we're done. Boom, next. If you're not finding what you want to make in their many, many templates, not only can you customize a lot of these templates as we went over, they have their own designing software. So I have a ornament slash earring idea in my head. Let's draw it out. You'll see how easy it is. It's very intuitive, which I love. So up to new blank project. I'm gonna make a Christmas tree frosted cookie looking thing. So first thing we need are some triangles. And triangles, last I checked, were a polygon. So we just drag that over and over here is going to be all of our design elements. We want, we can type in how many, or there's this slider, which I super love. So just one, ooh, too far. Three sides makes a triangle easy enough. I'm going to copy paste. Now we got another one. I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger. Copy paste. And I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger too. Okay, so these aren't quite nearly aligned. We can do that by selecting everything and we have our align tools just ready to go. They're right there. We don't need to pop open another window or anything. So we're going to turn all these triangles now into one shape. And that's easy enough. Up to modify, down to Boolean union weld. Boolean, that is such a fun word to say, Boolean. <laughs> Anyway, that'll weld them all together. And here we go, this is our base. We can kind of see the skeleton of it all. So let's convert to path. And that gets rid of that. So now we just have our tree shape. But wait, there's more. To get the frosting outline, this is so easy. Check this out. So we select the tree, go up to modify and down to outline stroke. And as you can see, because the join and cap is set to round, we have this rounded corner. And that's kind of like an outline of frosting, so we're going to keep that. We can make it maybe a little thicker. Doot, doot, doot. We're gonna copy paste it. Set our frosting to the side. And now we're going to release compound path. And we can delete that middle part. So here is going to be our outline, but we want it to be even bigger than this. So we're going to contour it again. 
little bit differently. So we're just going to expand, do an offset, like a contour a little bit, and we can adjust that again. I'm going to put the frosting layer. This will be a top layer in there. And that actually looks good. But wait, there's more. Let's put a star on here. Perfect. So we've got our little ornament slash earrings. You'll see. This will be a separate layer. This will be the behind layer. We can make that our cut colors already. I'm going to use red. But what are we going to hang this? Do we have to go through that whole process to get a circle on there? We could, or we can use one of their super awesome, easy as all get out tools, modify down to advanced to add hole. And it's that easy. We don't want the hole there though. Let's turn it to We'll double click that zero degrees so it's right at the top and it's perfectly centered how amazing that took what two seconds five i wasn't counting were you counting we don't need to count and now i'm just going to put a couple of circles on here for the ornaments all right let's save this and then get these cookies cut out Now, how stinking cute is this for your tree? You can make all the different shapes of cookies or literally any design in the world. I forgot to scale down the hang holes and the earrings, but that's okay. I think they turned out so great. Like I said, I'm still learning. Plus they have their own channel, which I'll link down below. So if you're interested in this and you want to become a master at it, definitely subscribe there and keep up to date with all the new things they keep rolling out. If you want to make customized gifts, products, all sorts of things, this is the website for you 100%. There are some limitations such as the templates you can't resell the SVGs of, though with the pro plan, you can make unlimited projects to sell or to gift out anything. And I think it's just such a wonderful site. Obviously I'm crazy passionate about it and you can save 10% on your first month if you want to give it a try or even 10% on your first year if you want to go all the way with my code LASERLADY10 at the link down below. That's Cuddle XYZ. Well, I hope you got a little something out of this quick mini tutorial. I still have some time left to go design maybe 40 more different gifts and products I plan on taking to my next craft show. So I'm going to get to it. Thank you so much for watching. Check out that link below and happy crafting. <laughs>